Today is Midsummer Eve, which is a big celebration here in Sweden. It's so fun that you're making it. I love that. Today is Midsummer Eve, which is a big celebration here in Sweden, and we're going up to a park where they are celebrating. Janae decided that her crown was too itchy, so I inherited it, which I'm not sad about it. It's kind of fun to wear a flower crown. Are you enjoying it? It is fun. I don't really feel it though. I, it's like one of those things where like you have it on but you don't really notice it. This one's kind of itchy. I can definitely feel it. I um, found a little swing. This is right on the water, which is really pretty. It looks like this is where the maypole is going to go in. They removed this, and it's all gonna happen right there. We got a good seat. Picnic time. Janae was playing with something. Flowers. A flowers? Uh -huh, and it was red. Very red. My hands are becoming hands again. Just try to wash them off. <laughs> You getting ready to dance? Yeah. Hopefully. around the maypole. Scrubbing it. We're scrubbing something. <laughs> you play the violin? Get it, trumpet! <laughs> Well, I have no idea what we were expecting of a midsummer celebration and the midsummer pole dancing, but that was not it. We loved it. It was just so unexpected. I am so grateful we were able to come and do this with our friends and have this experience. 
What do you think, Cubby? It's like nursery. It was, but it was so fun to see a whole group getting together and doing that. Yeah, that was fun. Josie, were you familiar with most of the songs? Uh -huh. Or were they new to you? No, I'm familiar with most of them. That's super fun. There's just a couple every year that I forget. Yeah. On our drive back, there's another midsummer celebration going on. It's so fun to see it from this side. Elise is in a different world right now. She got sucked into a good book. It got good, didn't it? I can tell you keep finding little moments to sneak away and read. Yeah, I'm at 64%, so I'm gonna need a book soon. You're ready for another one soon? Once I finish this one. Okay. So Hannah has put together a classic midsummer feast for the celebration. Sausages. Twins, twins corn. Okay. Swedish meatballs. That's right. Perfect. Uh, here's the herring. Okay, this is the herring. Potatoes with the herring. Potato. Yes. And then a lot of the onions, mm -hmm. a little bit of sour So a lot of other flavors. Yes. <laughs> and then a small piece of this. And, and this I, is just a traditional only, dish yeah. Yeah. for midsummer. Definitely. And then this is smoked eel. You recognize mm -hmm. that. <clears throat> this is salmon. smoked salmon. Johnson's Temptation. Mm -hmm. And then just potato salads. Fun. Okay. Well, this is going to be Thank a wonderful you. feast. Oh, Kendra pretends that she's wearing the wreath because Janae gave it to her because Janae didn't want to wear it, but you haven't taken it off. How often do I get to wear a crown of, of flowers. flowers and have it be socially acceptable? Not very often, so I'm going for it. I'm leaning into the tradition. Yeah, you like it. I do. I really like it. All right, we are eating the traditional midsummer cake. Strawberry cream cake. So good. We made it out to the beach. There's like a playground area and the harbor. And the only problem is there's a bit of a wind today. It's a little breezier than we expected and the water is gonna be a little chilly. So this is the Baltic Sea. He's our fearless leader. How's the water feel? Can I have a towel? Not yet. We just got nice. here. <laughs> it's so ugly. <laughs> yeah, they pushed me in. <laughs> Was Caleb the one who pushed me? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Dad, get me wrong. Oh, so dang. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's warmer than the lake was. Definitely. Yeah, the lake we were in was colder than this. <laughs> These kids are so brave and crazy. How's it feel, Lisi? Normal. Normal? Time to put the camera away and attempt to brave this myself. Camera's coming. going to try to walk across seven bridges. It goes across onto these different islands. So this is the first bridge. And we're gonna see how far it'll take us, but these are all little islands over here. So from the campground, there's one bridge that goes off to this other island, and then there's the little bridges that go off from it to connect it to other little islands. And there's supposed to be seven bridges, if we can find them all, and then hopefully we'll make our way back home. Made it to the third little island. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Oh, I spy another bridge right there. So this gorgeous flower is nippon. It is what is used to make nippon zupa. And it's I think called rose hip in English. And it goes from the flower to being this little thingy, which then is somehow boiled down and made into nippon zopa. But it is so beautiful. Well, we made it to the end 
I forgot to count the bridges, but we wandered through lots of little islands and little bridges. So beautiful. Hannah has really good eyes and saw this little forest mouse. I'm gonna try to zoom in so I don't scare it away. Look at that cute little guy. He's holding a nut, like he was a squirrel or something. I don't wanna scare him, but I do need to walk this way. This is the path, buddy. Sorry, have a good afternoon. So cute. All right, we counted on the way back and we only counted five bridges. So either there's two more that we did not find or I was wrong and it's five bridges. There's the moon. Let's see what time is it. It's 10.30 at night right now. Look at that. I can't get over it.